Yes, yes, my people, it's your boy Django. Hope all is well. Excited times ahead for Manchester United. Ruben Amarin. Done deal. As the new Manchester United manager or head coach. I don't like saying head coach, so I'm going to go with manager. And like I'm saying, I'm not going to lie, I'm kind of excited to see what's ahead for Manchester United, me personally. Don't forget... You let me know your thoughts in the comment. Let me know your opinions. And just generally let me know how you feel about this move because, you know what? It kind of makes sense now if you think about everything what's happened, especially the way they said transfer was going to be handled. I think United was already signing players for Amarin, which is why I think Ogata or Ogata or Ogata or however way you want to put it, was one of our main targets this season. But before I get into that, let's talk about what I think United would look like or how I think Ruben's going to shape up going off his Sporting Lisbon team. Obviously, if you know me, you know that Sporting is one of them teams that, you know, got admiration for teams like Sporting, Benfica, and even Porto. But mostly with Sporting and Benfica, if I'm being honest. It's just one of them teams I always pick, whether it's to do a rebuild on FIFA, whether it's to do a rebuild on Football Manager, whether it's to just put them just for the kit. It's just one of them teams I always look at, Sporting Lisbon, whether they're playing or not, whether I'm betting. It's just one of them teams. They fall in the category of like Ajax for me. So I kind of know a little bit. And one thing I'm definitely open is because we do need centre-back. And if he is going to play with three at the back, we can't just have three or four centre-backs. You know what I'm saying? So obviously with any Euro on the mend, that's all right. But I hope to God we bring Iniacio in. Just, you see, I've been an advocate for this guy to be at United to be signed for the last two, three years, maybe even longer. But I'm just saying. I hope he comes with, and if he wants to go and get one player, I hope it's that. I know Joe Paulini on players like that, but I just hope we get Inacio at the back to play this system. So with that being said, let's get into the system and how I think or how I hope this manager would line the players up in the system, what I think would be strongish 11 until he has time to add to the team. So let's get into it. And don't forget to like and subscribe, people. And also, let me know what you think his starting eleven would be with this current crop of players. And just let me know how you think about what you think about the new manager. I'm actually excited because you know what? As well, one more thing before I get onto it. We've played four four two four two four four two three one for a hell of a long time. Maybe it's going to be a good refresher to try the four, the three, four, two, one, or three, four, three. I don't know how you want to put it, but let's get into it. Set the formation out and see who I think would fit in the system. No, it's going to be a three at the back. Or we're predicting it will be a three at the back, whether it'll change or not, because every manager that came to United hasn't been available or been able to play their style of football. So we'll see if it'll be different with this guy. And I don't think he even plays with the two up front like that, does he? He plays with the one and then the two wingers. So let's try to find his actual formation before we actually get into doing what we're doing. That's the one. Yeah. 
which is going to be kind of weird to play with our team because obviously we have Rashford and we have Ganacho on the left hand side predominantly. We have no left backs. So I don't know how he's going to adjust to that issue. But just picking off the team now, I think the back, I think the centre three actually picked themselves at this moment in time. Obviously, Yeni Euro will be back. Lenny Euro will be back. But that's another thing. Who would you actually go with at the back? Obviously, this makes the most sense at the minute. But for me, the Lit and Johnny Evans have been our two best players. But let's just go with that for now, which is why I'm saying Inas Inasio would be perfect in the system. So I'm hoping to God we get that centre-back because, you know, like I said, I've been crying out to get this guy for a few years now. And now we have the sporting manager. Like I'm saying with Agato signing, Euro signing, was we already planning to go for this manager? Because I know with Tenag getting the contract, it was on the basis that um, the team would sign or the board would sign the players. Then I just have to put them in the system. I think that was just done for the sake of making sure this manager has players that he actually wanted, me personally. But let's move it on. For now, that's the back four, back three. Wow, this is what I'm saying about maybe it's time for a change at United. Maybe that's what's been wrong out all this time. Maybe everybody's been trying to go with the same formula with different approach. Uh, this is what's mad because the midfield, the midfield too. I'm not even gonna question the midfield too because straight away, even Van Nistelrooy got it. I've been advocating for these two, for midfield two from the day we signed our guts. So midfield two, I think that picks itself as well. For me, the tricky part is the wingers because I probably see him doing something like that. That's probably how we will line up. That's probably how we will line up. And that's the team I think he will deem as his strongest team until, like I'm saying, he's added a few to it. You let me know your thoughts in the comment. You let me know if you agree with my team or not. What change would you make? But obviously, we already know his football is aggressive on the front foot. To be honest, it's similar to Klopp's football, Dan Pep. You know, I mean, you have to have energy. It's more quick turnover and quick attack. It's not as much, to me, what, how, how I see sport in play, whether or not it's the quarter past eight kickoff or the half quarter past six kickoff, whichever one of the games. When I'm watching sporting, the way I see them play is more similar to Klopp than to Pep. where the winger or them two front players with the wingers, like, you'll see what I mean. The patterns they create. The patterns we ain't seen at our club for a while. You'll see what I'm talking about. But that's all I wanted to say, people. Catch you on the next video. And don't forget to look out for the match preview, United v Chelsea, coming up. Catch you on the next video.